heard the saying terrible twos. Sometimes when a child turns two, they start acting naughty by getting angry when they don't get their way or telling their parents, no. Maybe you know someone who's acted like that. Maybe that someone was even you. Today, we're going to read about Sophie and her terrible twos by Rosemary Wells. Sophie's Terrible Twos by Rosemary Wells. How old is my Sophie this morning? asked Sophie's mama. Sophie knew how to say two, but she didn't say it. Sophie knew how to put up two fingers for two years old, but she didn't do it. Because that was the day that Sophie got up on the wrong side of the crib. I wonder what they mean by that, wrong side of the crib. Hmm. Mama has a beautiful dress for her Sophie, said Mama. No pink, said Sophie. Daddy had sparkling fairy wings for Sophie, but the wings didn't fly. Daddy made birthday blueberry pancakes for Sophie with two candles on top. So delicious, said Mama. But Sophie didn't like two things mixed together. No blueberries inside the pancakes, said Sophie. Ding dong, went the doorbell. It was Granny. Granny bought, brought a big birthday present for Sophie. Sophie unwrapped it. 26 talking, blinking alphabet blocks tumbled out. A, H, W, sang the blocks. No more ABC, said Sophie to the blocks. I know someone who has turned the corner onto Grumpy Street, said Mama. Granny said, let's hit the road. Hmm. I wonder what let's hit the road means. So Sophie got on her push me, pull you motorcycle. And Granny and Sophie went very fast, weaving in and out of traffic. They stopped in the Learning Curve toy shop to see if there was a birthday present waiting there for Sophie. But Sophie didn't want any more red, blue, or yellow. She didn't want to hear sounds of favorite farm animals. She didn't want to solve any more shape puzzles. Granny had an inspiration. That's an odd word, inspiration. I wonder what that means. How about a saber-toothed tiger suit, said Granny. Five yeses, said Sophie. <sighs> hmm, what's another word I could use instead of inspiration? That would help me figure out what that word means. <sighs> Granny has an idea that she could use that Sophie might want a saber-toothed tiger suit. Let's try the word idea instead of inspiration. Granny had an idea. How about a saber-toothed tiger suit, said Granny. <gasps> Five yeses, said Sophie. Oh, that's it. An inspiration is a great idea. Hmm. So they went over to Zeke's Palace of Costumes. Have you got a saber-toothed tiger suit in size two? Granny asked Zeke. Zeke had one size two tiger suit left in the back room. The tiger suit fit just right. It had fiery eyes, dripping fangs, and enormous claws on glittery feet. Look out! Everyone hide! shouted the people on the street. Mama and Daddy opened the front door. Oh no, shouted Daddy, a saber-toothed tiger. 
right here in our house, squeaked Mama. It's only me, said Sophie. How old is that terrible tiger? asked Granny. Sophie held up two claws. Terrible too, said Sophie. The end. Hmm. I wonder how Grandma's inspiration worked, how her idea worked. Did it help Sophie get into a better mood? Hmm. I wonder who this story is mainly about. Who is the main character in this book? Can you name some of the settings that were in this book? Maybe some of the problems. What was the problem in this book? Don't forget to talk to your mom and dad about this book.